Let the net out. Right now. We have LB1. Yeah, we have to fly. No. Okay. Guys, don't say anything. No, nope. everybody shut the fuck up. 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 Yes, okay, yes, question, yes. question. Just hypothetically asking, okay? Not saying that it happened. I'm just asking, just wondering. Okay? In the reopener there, right? Let's just say I'm supposed to hold show, but I accidentally use a write on. Do you think that would have been 0.2%? That is directed. 400k. If you grid directed, 100% yes. Or even just crit, yes, 100%. This video is sponsored by Red Shadow Legends. Red Shadow Legends is taking over, man. And oh my god, there's so many content to do in this game. From campaign, to PvP, to dungeons, to earn massive rewards. Today, we are going to talk about a couple of the featured champions this month. First up, we have the Sky Touch Summon. Personally, I have this champion, so I know how good she is. She can full cleanse the party from debuffs and then block enemy incoming debuff, revive your party members when they die. That's actually insane. She also does AoE heal with her normal attacks, which makes her the best support I had when I start the game. Good stuff for PvE and PvP. Next is Cardio. Now, I don't have this guy, but I wish I do. He increases the party crit rate and damage, which makes the enemy team nuking you really hard. And then on top of that, when he attacks, he heals as well. That is so OP, man. Great arena champion, and I hope I get him soon. So what's new this month in raid? Use the promo code DKRISES and get a bunch of stuffs. And there's more. Red Shadow Legends has also released a super-powered legendary version of everybody's favorite champion, which was the Death Knight. And now it's called the Ultimate Death Knight. The entire Red Shadow Legends community has been waiting for this for a long time and it's everything they hoped for. He's poised, he's powerful, he's perfect. You can get this for free by the way. All you gotta do is log in and play for 7 days and claim them every day from now until October 27th. And also, trick or treats! Starting October 15th, Raid is running a Halloween event. You can win IRL and in-game prizes. All you need is your Raid player ID, download the game with the link in the description below, enter your details, spin the wheel, and claim your prize. All you need to do is head to trickortreat.playroom.com. This includes $1,000 Amazon gift cards and some of the best epic and legendary Halloween champions that you can win. This is the best time to start Raid Shadow Legends. As you use the link in the description below or scan the QR code on the Screen, you can also get unique bonus worth $30. You can claim all these rewards here in the inbox. This includes a 200k silver, one energy refill, one XP boost, one ancient shard, and also a free epic champion Aina, as you can see over here. That's all for today, and see you in Raid Shadow Legends. Guys, if this is Shiva, which many of you, also, you, you motherfuckers like to compare this to Shiva. Oh, but Shiva is the Shiva is not the same. If I go farm a ruby weapon, Shiva becomes a fucking joke. This one is legit nothing more already fucking how I milk the cow so fucking dry that what came out from the cow's nipple is blood. I don't even feel bad for my team. I feel bad for the cow. I'm serious. I think they should go black mage and I think Yezza should consider samurai. I think it's time. Bring out the true meta. No wonder Yoshi P says DPS check didn't got adjusted because Yoshi P is a black mage main. When Yoshi P did it with his developer static, no problem. I didn't have primal weapon. I didn't have tone weapon. I got it because Yoshi P is a black mage main. Yoshi P actually do damage. He's a gamer. Hey guys, guys, it doesn't matter what it is. Whether it's extreme savage ultimate content i don't know why people put out so many guides it doesn't make sense why do you need to read so many things it's very easy to clear a final fantasy 14 fight don't die do mechanics if we did the do mechanics subsection i will give you an example if you have to spread you spread if you have to stack you stack if you have to go to your protein position you go to your protein position if you have to mitigate a tank buster you mitigate a tank buster if you have to mitigate an aoe mitigate an aoe if you can't get hit don't get hit the last step is to kill the boss until he kills you. Sometimes you can get even lucky that you can die and the but boss yeah, will like still said, die because your friends can help you. Bro, what the fuck is that pattern? What? 
It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. LB every day, baby. Don't listen to those Twitch chat. Oh, my standing is so good. Oh, my standing can do this mechanic. We rock. Thank LB. My standing can spread and stack properly. Baby, PF should learn. Your static sucks. That's why you're doing this mechanic. If your static is good, you would have skipped it. Okay, so don't give me bullshit. Don't give a fuck about your static. Your static is garbage. Guys, tell me all these cat girls are guys. I don't disagree. But what I'm trying to say is surely, surely... One of these cat girl is a girl. Damn, I just came back from nothing in my wife and you still haven't cleared. That shows you savage is harder than having sex. So please show fucking respect to everybody raiding in this game, okay? Anybody can have sex. Look, you just proved. That it's it even plebs like you can have sex and get it done with. But clearing Savage in Final Fantasy XIV, now that's not easy, okay? That's why, right, raiding in Savage is more important than having sex. That's why you don't have sex while you're progging. You don't have sex when you're doing an ultimate, okay? Every world prog raider will tell you that. No sex. When you're not, you lost. I think that's fucked up. Oh my god! Cake wait, cake wait. Pause champ, pause champ. I got a melee combo here. Pause champ. No, how? How did you guys not heal him? What the fuck? Oh, ho, 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 yes. Man, he fell off. What? Good luck. Where the fuck are you going, dude? Oh my god, we got stop. What the fuck are you guys doing? Give me purple, bro. Give me the purple. There should be an age eligibly. When you sign up for your Square Enix account, they should have your information already. And then they should decide that your account will be flagged on what chance or what mechanic. Like me, as a 41-year-old, I should be getting purple 80% of the time. I will make an MMORPG like that. No! Why am I not having three bullets every time? What? 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 Was I supposed? I I was soft with my default, but my towers were annoying. Am I stupid? Yes. That no no. Sorry, you're not stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! Oh my god! I <laughs> That is a trap question! Remish weapon, remish weapon, remish weapon, remish weapon! Get the fuck out! Who still play this job? This is not even a job! This should be like an achievement weapon! This should be like in the mass carnival! Why is this in Savage? Most group and rich at 50-51. This 1% is a lot. This 1% plus this buff means that you can play any job now. It's week 3. This means that you can play Remage, you can play Summoner, you can play Machine. You can play Reaper. I what if I really met Zeno? Am I gonna fanboy? Oh, dude, I swear to God, I'm gonna lick his head. I'm gonna spray whipped cream on it and I'm gonna eat whipped cream off his ball head. That's what I'm gonna do. You see? You see? Remember just now what I told you guys? What if there's a weirdo like that that walk up to me and do something? I'm already thinking about what I'm gonna do to Zeno already. Bruh, that's not what a casting couch is for. Wait, what? Wait, am I missing something? Uh, let me Google. Whoa, what the fuck? Wow! He used in reference to the supposed practice whereby actresses are awarded pass in film or plays in return for granting sexual flavors to the casting that What the fuck? Isn't it just a couch that we sit and get comfy? 